Devil May Cry. One. This game... I'm gonna be honest with you, this game is kind of a fucker. Boobies. I forgot how difficult this game was. If you don't know the history of Devil May Cry 1, the idea was that it was going to be Resident Evil 4, but then it got so weird that they decided to hand it over to fucking Hideki Kamiya, and, gave him, and they gave them a little team called Little Devils, and of course Hideki Kamiya responded by blocking them on Twitter, because that's what he does. I, ha I have a little anecdote here that I really enjoy, which is Dante's design is heavily inspired by Space Adventure Cobra. You might recognize this guy because he's literally my profile pic. Devil May Cry 1 was the start of the character action game genre. So really, if you know any game that has fancy hack and slash or beat em up style of uh, air combos type of deal where you're fighting multiple enemies at the same time, Devil May Cry 1 started that shit. And today, I'm going to show you how to style in Devil May Cry 1. Let's rock, baby. Coming back to this game after about seven years, holy shit, this game still kicks ass and still kicks my ass. So there's a few things to know. Holy fuck, enemies do not give a shit. So here's the deal, is that in Devil May Cry 3, enemies that are outside of the screen where you cannot see them will not attack or have a very telegraphed sound for them about to attack. So, for example, there's a red ghoul guy and he's gonna attack you, you hear it because he does this <laughs> sound. On the other hand, over here, we have this fucking guy with a double barrel shotgun and he just is blasting his own dudes even. And if I'm not mistaken, Getting hit in this game does not lower your style meter. Because your style meter just lowers all the time. <laughs> There's this weird fucking thing where the game will not keep your style meter for, for an amount of time. If you stop hitting buttons for one second in a fight, your style meter is gone. You're going back to dull. And that's weird. Because trying to do good style wise in for example a hallway fight this hallway is impossible basically i can't do anything even if i'm doing the sickest combos i can with ifrit it is just impossible because enemies are just gonna fly away and then i'll have that moment of just walking towards them to start doing combos again uh, another thing that has changed from Devil May Cry 3 is that you don't have to do different moves at all. You can just keep spamming the same move over and over again and you'll get it. Uh, though this is kind of balanced because uh, weapon switching is not as seamless as it is in Devil May Cry 3 because there's this long ass animation between them and you only have two weapons I'm pretty As for moves, the game gives you nothing. You have high time, high time with the with the with the jump follow up, a uh, helm breaker and that's it. Then you have your basic combo 1 2 3 and then you have your other basic combo which is 1 2 delay 3 3 3 3 3 and then you have the secret delay combo, which is 1-2, slight delay, 3-3. Three, three. It's pretty good. It's alright. Honestly, I kind of like this. But I would have wanted, you know, some more bullshit with the guns or the ability to do stuff with enemies or even the style button, uh, which doesn't exist here, so we don't have Weapon Master, Trickster, or any of those. All you have is what the weapon has, so what... Alastor and Ifrit have as moves and apart from that you're on your own 
So, the game starts you off with four sets, and you do not have moves on four sets. You cannot buy moves until, I think, mission two, where you get Alastor. And Alastor, can we talk about the cutscene for Alastor real quick? Dante, what are you doing? It's in your neck. Just pull it out. Oh my. And you're cut in half. God, you're a stupid demon, dude. Anyway, Alan's story is pretty good. It gives you DT right off the bat, and you get obviously Stinger, Stinger 2. You have uh, Air Raid, which is actually really nice. Uh, Vortex, I never have used it. You get Round Trip, I barely use it because the animation for it takes so long. And then later on, you get Ifrit, which is the original Balrog, or whatever. It's just the original gauntlet, which is pretty cool, although the lack of range on it sucks ass. With Ifrit, you don't get shit at the start. You get your 1, 2, 4, uh, one, two 3, 4 combo. That's it. And then the rest you have to buy. But Ifrit does have Kick 13, which sucks. And then you use it with DT, and then it is the best move in the game, although it eats DT like Wow. Then you have this weird move, which reminds me of Altered Beast. Holy shit. Altered Beast. We'll have to talk about Altered Beast sometimes. I, I can't let my ADHD win on this one. And this one is kinda cool. I thought it was completely useless at first, but then it turns out it's pretty okay. Because you can do shit like this. Then you have uh, Fireball, I have never used it, and you have Inferno, super expensive, never used it. So let's talk a little bit about the enemies. This game has a great roster of enemies. They got the Sin Scissors, which, if you know what you're doing, you can clash with them, and as they reel back from the clash, you can position yourself in a way where one shot from the shotgun would kill them, which is really fucking cool. Uh, and speaking of the shotgun, so you know how in Devil May Cry 3 you shoot the shotgun and Dante reloads, right? And you can do it while moving and Dante still reloads, right? So, in Devil May Cry 3, to cancel it, you would shoot Royal Guard, shoot Royal Guard, shoot Royal Guard. Devil May Cry 1? Nah. <laughs> Just walk side to side and this is what happens and the game just does not give a shit dante does not need to reload this is a magic shotgun now brother it breaks the game it's completely broken and of course one that probably no one has thought about until devil may cry 5 came back and it was the nobodies Styling. Um, I thought this would be longer, but styling is very simple in this game. Go fast, so go fast. Uh, devil trigger, hit and hit and hit and hit, and it does not matter which moves you are doing as long as you're hitting opponents. My tip is is that. Do not think too much about actual, like, you know, fights like this, where you can go anywhere you want and it's just the enemies respawning. I'd say, uh, focus on fights where it is an arena, where you're fo forced to fight. There, you can probably get an S rank, even though it's still very difficult with the way the game just says, Now nah, you're done. No. That's it, you finished. You're finished. You're done. So, it's weird. It, it's it's an odd one. I think one of the best things you can do uh, for styling is the sin scissors trick. You also go up against Shadow in this one, which has this move, which 
you can do something really cool about that, which is this. And I think that's awesome. I don't have much to say. I think if you want to style it in this game, it really depends on what you think is stylish, which is very similar to Sifu. But, uh, uh, yeah, if, um, if you listen to me and you do the stuff that I do, it would look a little bit like this. I'm going to do uh, stuff uh, yeah. and archery. Get out of here with that shit, man. Yo, you don't know me and you don't know I'm going through. So fuck you and your lame ass point of view. That should have been my whole mission from the start. You put it together, I tear it all apart. What? Gotta get mine, stepping through this minefield. And what's not mine becomes my you mind. That's the way I gotta take it from the mans. Put a price up on the fans, I put let up in the stands. It doesn't matter who the target is. You know I'm gonna finish it once I get it started, kid. That's the way I gotta market it. Marksman, mercenary, making all your heart skip And I can turn you into parts quick Put you in a box and ship you off the yard six Where the novel leaders go The ones that started pleading Cause they couldn't take the bleeding from the beating, yo So you might wanna shut your mouth Before you end up in a pine box Headed down south Your mama brought you in I'ma take you out Send you down to hell You can burn like doubt I'ma make it clear I won't leave a doubt I told you I'm here It's my only route So you can stick around Cause it's gonna be a thriller In this world Ain't no other option for a kill I just gotta get the cash Gotta get the dough Gotta get the cash Gotta get the dough Dicing up some mayhem, gotta keep it light in the dark world of gray and black. But you can get your axe to the back or a slap to the face from the clap of a gat. Strapped to your waist, plastic to your hat. Back, back, back through the tragic collapse. I say this pretty serious. So maybe you should start thinking, hmm, well, it's time to be fearing this. Cause if I keep hearing this, I'ma have no other choice but to leave your whole fam hearing list. Yeah, that's how really real it is. I care about my pockets, not about your feelings, shit. So when I kill you, man, it ain't personal. It's just the only way I still can make a grand. Understand what I'm talking about? Get the picture of what this all about. Out. It's time for you to walk it out You don't want to be around when these dogs start walking out You don't want to play the target route Cause I don't get paid unless the fucking target's out That's the way it goes That's the only way I know just to make my dough Gotta get the cash, gotta get the dough Gotta get the cash, gotta get the dough Gotta get the cash, gotta get the dough I need more price, just say so Gotta get the cash, gotta get the dough Gotta get the cash, gotta get the dough Gotta get the cash, gotta get the dough If the means kill them all, then I won't say no Shit you think I'm just gonna sit around and do nothing? Huh. They're fucking monsters out there, man. Somebody's gotta kill them. You can keep your justice, man. I got my justice right here. Gotta get the cash, gotta get the dough. Gotta get the cash, gotta get the dough. Gotta get the cash, gotta get the dough. I need more price, just say so. Gotta get the cash, gotta get the You know what? Fuck this game. And that will be all for Devil May Cry 1. Uh, before the video ends, I would like to say thank you so much for the support on Devil May Cry 3 video. That was completely a passion project and it became uh, my most viewed video uh, ever. And thank you guys so much. Uh, it's it's uh, honestly heartwarming. I've never been happier to like see a video like that thrive and everything uh hopefully this uh does the same numbers maybe uh yeah but uh if you made it this far thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i hope this was helpful in some way i know that may cry one is not as teachable i'll say again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video Bye. Money and the tag, yeah. baby.